Molly Cottery's journey to the Paris Olympic Games is a tale of passion, perseverance, and triumph. From the age of four, Molly's world revolved around gymnastics. But it wasn't until she was 11, when she visited her local athletics track and tried every event available, that she discovered her true calling. Hurdles, high jump, long jump. None of them captured her heart like the pole vault did. By 15, she had made the decision to specialize in pole vaulting, dedicating herself wholeheartedly to the sport. Growing up in Cornwall, in the southwest of England, Molly participated in all the county championships. She recalls one particular cross-country event at school. Despite being the youngest in the race, she surged ahead of her competitors, fueled by her father's simple advice. Just go out and run as fast as you can. Winning that race was a defining moment for her, a realization that she had the potential to excel in athletics. In her early teens, Molly competed in the U13 and U15 championships, and although she didn't always win, she never lost her competitive spirit. After finishing second at the Nationals when she was 13 or 14, she went home and crafted a meticulous plan to ensure she would never lose again. That determination became a hallmark of her career. A major turning point came when Molly won the World Indoor Championships. This victory not only boosted her confidence, but also redefined her goals. Her first Diamond League win was another milestone, signaling her arrival on the world stage. Yet the stakes only grew higher from there. Breaking the British record with a vault of 4.92 meters was an unexpected triumph. It was a goal she had envisioned achieving in a few years, not so soon. Now, with her sights set on the next monumental height of five meters, Molly's excitement and ambition have only intensified. Last year, she was a 4.75 M jumper. This year, she surpassed 4.80 meters eight times, a testament to her remarkable progress. Staying injury-free through the winter season allowed her to train consistently, and that hard work has clearly paid off in competitions. However, Molly's journey hasn't been without its challenges. In late 2021, she faced a traumatic setback when she nearly severed her finger in a gym accident. The long rehabilitation process tested her resolve, but she remained mentally positive and managed to have a successful season, competing in the World Championships, European Championships, and securing second place at the Commonwealth Games. But the hurdles didn't stop there. She underwent two Achilles surgeries, each requiring six months of rehab. Despite these setbacks, she bounced back, jumping 4.75 meters to finish fifth at the World Championships, a true breakthrough in her career. These adversities have only made Molly stronger and more resilient. She has overcome mental blocks and technical challenges in pole vaulting through relentless visualization and mental rehearsal. This mental training, combined with her physical prowess, has honed her into a better athlete. Molly's Olympic dreams were ignited as a young girl watching the 2008 and 2012 games. She vividly remembers hiding behind the sofa, nervous for Usain Bolt's 100-meter final, and being inspired by Jess Ennis-Hill's triumph on Super Saturday. These memories fuel her ambition to achieve Olympic glory. As Molly prepares for the Paris Olympic Games, she is driven not just by her own dreams, but by the desire to inspire others. Knowing that young girls around the world will look up to her, she hopes to leave a legacy that transcends her athletic achievements. For Molly Cottery, the road to Paris is not just about winning medals. It's about the journey, the growth, and the impact she can have on the next generation of athletes. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.